So Jeff, what, what were you looking for in, in Ayla's character that, that you saw in Debra? Um, I think we were looking for a bit of a tomboy, and she kind of fits the bill. You, you can't tell from looking at her now, but <laughs> <laughs> she's actually quite a, a, a physical, you know, uh, athletic girl, and we didn't want somebody that was going to be girly and dainty. And um, the only thing I was worried about is that when we saw her initially, it was uh, via audition tape, and I thought she was she looked a little too old. And then we met her in person, and she's like four feet tall. So <laughs> <laughs> that had me that had me convinced that she was the girl because she had the most attitude and uh, we were looking for somebody that was from a reserve. The weird thing was that our guys, or some of our funders were really apprehensive about hiring somebody with so little experience and they wanted to hire more of an actress, somebody that was going to, you know, show up on stage and show up on set on time and, you know, know the, 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 the craziness of working on a on a, a set and the kind of craziness of uh, a film schedule, whereas I was you know convinced just by looking at her resume and, and meeting her in person that that wasn't going to be an issue at all, mm -hmm. and it was just a, a matter of uh, you know putting her in front of a camera. Really, it wasn't even you know it wasn't even a it was a no brainer. What was it like for you working with Jeff and being the, the star of this, this film? Well, when it, everything first kind of came about and I found out that I was going to be Mara, that I was on the short list, I was just kind of, I read through the script and I was kind of scared and I was like, how the hell am I going to pull this off because I never did a character so complex before with all these layers. And even just in like the voiceover, it's like, okay, you're just talking, but you have the underlying anger. <laughs> but then at the same time, there's a little bit of sadness and attitude, but not outright attitude. And I'm just like, oh my God, what the hell am I going to do? But um, it ended up being, it ended up really working out. And I found that once I stopped trying, it was actually during... Um, when we were filming the, the haircutting scene and we filmed all of those uh, shots in sequence or, where they take everything away from me, they strip me down, they cut my hair and they throw me into this bathtub and, and I think from then on like my character just fell into place and I think everybody's care, everybody's role like from cast and crew just kind of it went really smooth and it really took off from there.